In today's video, we'll be checking out another updated hero pack available for the Fisk superhero mod. And some of these suits are not what you're expecting. So let's just jump straight into it. And we are back again with another hero pack video. This time, as you can see behind me, we've got some pretty powerful heroes right here and villains. All right, so in no particular order, we're going to be checking out this guy right here and if you didn't know right here this is the punisher or at least one of the variations that you can get in this pack and i gotta say this suit looks absolutely awesome and you can see there that he actually comes with a set of weapons and he actually comes with another one but we'll get into that soon enough so with this suit here as you can see from the top there we get two sort of main abilities one is the toggle grenades which i wasn't expecting but i mean it is the punisher after all so similar to the batman utility belt if we press v here you'll see that we get two grenades ready to go and we could just lob those in the pool like this and that is a pretty hefty explosion considering that you get two of these. I mean, I'm not sure if they actually break any blocks. Let me see. Well, they're actually 3D as well. Look at that. Okay. So it doesn't look like they break any blocks. But as you can see there in the middle of the screen, they do actually regenerate. So you've basically got infinite grenades on hand. But still, considering it's Punisher, the more firepower, the better. So alongside the grenades there, you can also see that we get some equipment. So if I hold that down, you'll see that we either get two dual Berettas or we get an M16 rifle. And this is pretty damn powerful. And I mean, just look at this M16 to start out with. It looks like something out of Blockfront, which by the way, you should definitely go check those videos out. So firing wise, we just hold left click to aim it. And then we can actually fire like this. It looks like it's like a triple burst. I'm not sure. I mean, sometimes it's triple burst, sometimes it's single. I'm not too sure. And alongside the M16, we do get these dual Berettas here, these 93Rs. I'm sure that we can all agree that these are probably the, uh, the prize winner, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, these are definitely the, uh, the more powerful. That definitely seems a lot more powerful than the M16. I mean, just for the fire rate alone. So as previously mentioned, this suit does come with another variation and that is this one right here. As you can see, it's a lot more comic book compared to the other one. Just look at this. And this one even comes with the M16 straight on your back as well. And I do love the little touch of the uh, the little red bandana there. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it because of my skin, but it is definitely there. Look at this with the guns as well. That looks so, so cool. So up next here, you might be thinking we've got two bald characters right here that look sort of the same. And that is because they are both actually based on Kingpin. Although they look a bit slimmer when they're on the uh, the models here, you'll see what I mean in just a minute. So starting with this one here behind me, you might recognize this as being the classic sort of comic book Kingpin that we've seen time and time again, even in the old Spider-Man comics. So if we throw the suit on here, the first thing you'll realize is we're a bit bigger than before, to put it politely. So despite you actually being a really, really weird shape that I've definitely not seen before in these hero packs, you're still a little bit taller as you can see there next to the mannequin. Just wait until we get to that one behind me there. So abilities wise for this guy, we do get the block, which looks something like this. You just sort of hold your massive hand out in front. It, it kind of reminds me a bit like an iron golem. I mean, a little bit. So with the block itself, you can probably protect yourself from most uh, projectiles coming your way. But in terms of how effective it is, we just have to do it in a hero versus hero video. So subscribe for that. So as you can see there top left as well, we do get some equipment. So if we press that, we actually get this disintegrator cane. And this kind of just looks like a microphone with like the little glass orb on the end there. But so as per usual, we've got some trusty volunteers who have just signed up for this. And real quick, before we test this on the volunteer here, you can see that we actually get a custom sort of UI, like a custom little reticle there. Let's see what this does. If I bop him on the head, nothing happens. So I figured it out that you actually have to hold left click and then charge it with your right. Oh, okay. The screen is shaking. I'm gonna let it go. Ooh. Okay, that is actually pretty sick. I like that. It's kind of creepy. That is ominous. So it might even be a case of however long you actually hold it, the more damage it does. But so far, it doesn't seem too overpowered. But yeah, overall, I mean, for Kingpin, I mean, not too bad. I mean, even just having like the little staff there as a little weapon, I like that. You know, it gives them a bit more variety other than the, the classic sort of block. I mean, I can't get over this model, but <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? But stats wise, as you can see here down the bottom, he does actually have quite a few good stats coming up. He has like seven punch damage, 91.2 damage reduction, basically a walk-in tank, which is, you know, what Kingpin is known for. So up next, we've got the fan favorite here. This is of course the Vulture, the main guy on the farm. Now, the reason you probably clicked this video, and let me tell you, this suit is absolutely wild. As you can see, when you put the suit on, you do get these massive wings, just like you saw on the mannequin there. It'd be really cool if there was a way to like fold these in a bit like the uh, the Falcon, you know, where they sort of pop out of his backpack. I think that'd be really cool. In terms of lore accuracy, I might be completely wrong with that one. So obviously with these absolutely giant wings here, we can of course fly and just look at those little blades like rotate. Look at that. When you actually take off, they completely just like simulate where you're going. And it's not just when you're hovering either because they actually move individually by themselves. Both of these little rotors, I mean. So as you can see, when I'm pulling back on the actual boosters here, it almost folds the wings in a little bit compared to when I'm actually going forward. So you just know that if you saw this coming towards you at night, it would not be fun. 
As for the flying itself, you could probably keep up with Iron Man, maybe even Superman if you really wanted to go that far. But if you don't think that this is fast enough, as you can see there, when we're flying, we do actually have the ability to boost. And this just puts everything into hyperdrive. I mean, we're going so quick the world isn't even rendering in. Check that out. Now, if we actually compare this to an Iron Man suit, that feels a hell of a lot cooler. On top of that amazing flight there, we do get this weapon right here, which we'll all recognize from the actual film. And this is one of the Chitari cannons, which he uses against like Spider-Man or basically anyone who's trying to, you know, shut down his business. If you know, you know. And in terms of damage here, we can just hold this one down, similar to the Kingpin one. You'll see there that we get two little lines coming out. And then when we're ready, we can actually let go of that. So once again, not a one hit shot. Not even a two hit. Let's have a look. Three hits, maybe? All right, there we go. Finally, I think that was like seven or eight shots. And if you didn't know, this is our weird sort of hotel full of uh, subscribers, people that put their names in the comments. So if you want your name featured in this weird hotel residence type building, but there will be a pinned comment. So look for that in the comment section and drop your username and you too can be one of these residents. So one thing that I thought would be really, really cool if they added to this suit is the ability to basically just take the helmet on and off. Similar to what we saw with Red Hood and even the Titanfall stuff, like a simple animation like that, with this suit would just be amazing. So finally, we get to this guy right here who is another version of Kingpin, but this time, think bigger. So if we actually throw the suit on completely here, you'll see that our fist is absolutely massive. Bearing it to this guy, just wait until you see what we look like here. Boom. This is probably the most accurate suit I've ever seen in any hero pack. Comparing this to the actual Spider-Verse one, this is literally him. Look at his little legs at the bottom. That is so cool. And in terms of sprinting, this is his full speed. I mean, this is it. So going back to the abilities, you can block like I said earlier. And on top of that, you actually get a gun. So let's reload this bad boy. And there we go. And as you can hear there, that is a pretty hefty, uh, pretty hefty hand cannon you got there. I mean, it is a deagle after all, so you're going to do some damage. So I actually never found Kingpin to be that threatening. But I mean, if this guy came up to me and just held a gun to my head like this, what are you going to do? In comparison to the other suits, I mean, look at this. You're like an armchair. Definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. I mean, this suit is just ridiculous and I love that. So for our last hero that we've got here, this is of course Shocker. You might recognize him, you might not. He is from the comics and one of Spider-Man's uh, arch nemesis, if I remember correctly. And this guy right here is pretty damn powerful. Unlike the hamster wheel guy that we had last time, because that is just, yeah. So abilities wise, we actually get a bunch here compared to the other ones. I mean, I know we're talking about Punisher with guns and Kingpin with his bald head, but so starting from the top here, we have charge gauntlets. If we just press that, you'll see there at the bottom, we do get like a little meter. And every time we punch, you'll see that that actually goes down. And this is damage right here. I mean, this feels powerful. Yeah, that's a three hit. And then we just get one spare. And there we go. And then that will slowly charge up over time, as you can see at the bottom there as well. Up next, we get the concentrated blast power right here. And yeah, that villager just simply does not exist anymore. Let me see that again. That is a really fast ability. Let's have a look. Yeah, that is some serious, serious business right there. So up next, we've got the concussive blast, which looks something like this, which is almost like a dumbed down version of the one before it. I mean, yeah, it definitely seems a lot less powerful, but definitely a three hitter. <laughs> but if you're waiting for the cooldown for the other one, you could just use that one three times in a row and get the same effect. So the choice is yours. So for our last ability here, we do get the shield. And I mean, just listen to that sound effect. That is, I love that. That is so cool. And as you can see, when you're in the shield form, you can't exactly run around anywhere. You are pretty damn slow, but if you're being surrounded, you can just use the other ability on top of this. And yeah, all your problems seem to just disappear, just like that villager. So in terms of actually having like Spider-Man villains, this guy's probably up there with Mysterio thinking about it. I mean, with all the different attacks and stuff, the only thing you don't have is flight. So yeah, just from that alone, you can tell that this hero pack here has some pretty serious characters to mess around with, including the big boy at the end there. Everybody loves that. I'd love to see how like their very own Spider-Man would compete against some of these villains that we have here today. But with all that said, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's a slightly smaller hero pack, but I'm sure you can agree that some of these characters are absolutely hilarious. And like I mentioned, before if you do want to be named after a villager be sure to leave your username in the pinned comment and i'll catch you guys in the next one